Now, I really have to hand it to Alienware that they actually do a great job with packaging. This box is absolutely beautiful. Um, on the side here, you can see it's got some little holographic ring of light, kind of similar to how the current Alienwares have that ring of light around the center of the front, which is really cool. It does mention 16.8 uh, million RGB. Okay, so there's all sorts of color combinations, pretty much every color and every mix of every color you can think of. You can make this mouse and various parts of the mouse shine. So it's really, really confusing and that's with the Alien F FX um, software, which you can use both on Alienware computers and on non-Alienware computers. If you're not sure about that, shoot me a message. I'll let you know how that works, okay? Um, looks like it has seven little spots here, which I don't know if these are weights or buttons. I'm guessing that's seven buttons, okay? It does work with the Alienware Command Center, okay? So this will work great on Alienware computers, but you can also, again, use this on non-Alienware computers, okay? And there's a little picture of the mouse, and I like the way there's all sorts of, like, cool little sketchings. You can see yeah, this is matte black, but there's a little glossy black little Alienware like little diagrams and different things kind of like hidden messages, which is pretty cool. On the side here, we do have the 610M and kind of a holographic look, which is really cool. And again, kind of a schematic look to the inside of the mouse and shows the buttons. On the back here, it talks about a few of the features, okay? It's ergonomic form factor, which we'll talk more about that in a second. A 350 hour battery life, which is actually really good, okay? You can play a lot of games with that 350 hours, okay? Adjustable scroll wheel. We'll talk more about that in a second. And it is dual mode, wired and wireless, which is a little unique because most uh, mouse configurations are either wireless or they're wired, but they're not both, okay? Which really makes this cool. Um, let's go ahead and open this up here. And these Alienware boxes always are kind of a, oh, this one does have it too. Alienware boxes are really unique. They have their own like little, little pull tab, okay? For opening, which is really convenient. And this just slides open like that. So very, very cool. We'll put this aside here. And you can see here is the mouse and great looking matte black. We'll go ahead and pull this out. And there's probably like a little hidden compartment here for accessories and such. Let's see if I can pull this out. They're usually kind of tight, okay? And inside here, there is this little Alienware box. And this usually has like the warranties and that kind of thing in it. Let's, let's take a quick peek. I'm sure you guys might be curious what's in here. And it's nothing too special. Um, there's like a little Alienware card with the usual social medias on it. And then this is kind of like the warranty information, which is written in a bunch of different languages. So it's kind of thick, but um, gives you all the breakdown of what they cover. And the warranties are really good. So Alienware is one company which you can trust will stand behind their equipment for a good long time so very cool um, if you need more information about the warranty just let me know okay and as far as accessories go we have a very nice braided cord you guys know i love new cords with new devices and alienware definitely does not disappoint with a good long very generous black braided cord check out the nice braids on that very tight black uh, very good for doing your cable management. This is a USB, okay? And this goes to kind of the um, the smaller micro USB configuration, okay? So USB to micro USB, okay? Um, but very cool cord, very good quality to it. Um, this is not gonna fray. Feels very slick for moving around. Um, so good deal. And then there's also the Alienware wireless adapter okay so this is kind of like oh actually strike that this is an adapter which is wow this is really interesting i'll have to check how this works this this is a little surprising to me um this looks like this actually is almost like a micro usb adapter to a usb adapter so very cool it is branded alienware so i really wouldn't have expected that especially a branded uh, usb adapter so you can switch between usb and micro usb so really kind of a cool little packet i wouldn't have expected that at all so very nice now looking at the mouse itself here we'll go ahead and pull off it comes with like a little safety plastic here so i'll pull that off there we go to reveal the actual mouse. And this has a nice little very slick rubbery piece down here and right here, okay? And there is, looks like there is a on and off switch right there for on and off, okay? There we go, on is green, red is off. And this is a type one position and type two position, okay? And then on the side here, we are featuring, um, we have, oh, let me pull this out. This is like the little, this is actually the little doggle for doing the wireless part of the mouse okay so if you do want to run it wirelessly you just pull this out and if you don't want to if you want to use a cord this you won't lose it because you're just going to stick it back in here and it has a, its own little spring loaded little compartment to hold it so very very clever just take that 
and just give it a little pop just like that and it stays in place which is great and you, that way you won't lose it now if you want to run this as a wired mouse or if you want to charge it all you have to do is take the co included cord okay and that just goes in this little hole right here it's kind of very shiny so hopefully you can see that okay but this just slides in there's a little groove right here too so you really can't do this the wrong way but we're just going to take that and give it a little push in just like that and you can see once it's in it actually see how glossy that looks and how perfectly fitted that is it really looks like now it's a corded mouse so if you want to you could always use this as a corded mouse and then if you're traveling or something you can easily just yank this out and then go wireless which is great with the included doggle right there okay so very cool let me go ahead and i want to plug this in and we're going to check this with the lights on be right back Okay, we got all plugged in here using the cord, and I just wanted to give you a kind of an idea what lights up here. So we can see on the sides here, we do have a light here on the side. We have the Alienware logo right there, another marker on the side here, and then this right here. Now, if you want to change DPI on this mouse, it's very easy. This button right here, you just press up or press down, and you can change the DPI um, in a range of DPIs. And of course, 16,000 is the highest, which actually I find 16,000 being a little bit too fast, okay? But if you want all the technical specs, click the description down below, and on Amazon, it gives you all the little individual DPIs. But there's really a wide range from slow to fast, and everything, everything in between for you. Now, the mouse itself is very similar to the other alien where we reviewed, where this is a very nice, slick surface, which is really good. On the top here, there's like two long large spacious areas to click on and here's a little clicking so you can hear it okay and there's a little turn wheel right here now this is kind of a matte gray color okay the the button here is actually glossy on the front like the very top and the sides is kind of matte black and the actual wheel here is clear on the inside but it does have a rubbery outside here with a lot of like little texturized dots so as you turn this you can definitely feel this and this is clickable where each little spot clicks like each little turn so um, very nice very adjustable and really it does give you a lot of control as you're using the mouse so you're gonna feel if you're changing weapons if you're doing things in art projects or whatever you can really feel it switching brushes or whatever you're you're assigning the scroll wheel to do okay now the buttons on the side here this particular mouse has two buttons um, there is the other mouse which we reviewed if you go back in my queue you'll see had three buttons so it's kind of interesting this one only has two okay and this one does feature kind of an interesting bottom part glossy top part matte black which is a little bit different and the other one did feature a rubbery stop kind of in the middle so i kind of do miss the fact that it doesn't have that rubbery stop in the middle because the other mouse actually did the other alienware mouse we reviewed and back in the queue had three buttons and kind of a rubbery middle part so it's interesting they didn't include that but i have to say, say this mouse feels very good in the hand it definitely is form fitting and as far as using goes it just glides very easily around and is very very quick and again that's sixteen thousand and DPI setting probably is too much. It's probably going to be too fast for a lot of applications. So if you're like me, you're probably at least taking it down a notch or two because there's so many different possibilities of DPI. Now, all these little color LEDs too are changeable using the Alienware FX um, software okay even if you're not on an alienware computer so you can make this red you can make this orange you can make this green you can make a pink teal white yellow blue any color in between any mixture of colors and you can have different colors on every one so you can independently assign this to be red this to be blue this to be green whatever you want okay so if you have questions about the alienware fx software let me know in the comments below or check out some of my other alienware videos where i go into more detail about the software color changing but just know that all these lights one two three three and four any of these lights could be any color you want them to be and not just red green blue yellow but any shade of yellow red blue green or a mixture of violet or mint or teal or whatever color you want like honestly it's millions of color combinations uh you really can ask for more the alienware is so good about being customizable and this stuff is really good quality too like again this mouse i have to say besides all the fancy coloring and things you can do it feels great in the hand it's just the right size feels very slick i like has like a little rib part right down here below the buttons which um that's very nice the two buttons on the side has this rib part right here um bottom part very slidable very good you're not gonna be putting too much energy it's not gonna be like grating cheese or something like this is really glide so very very nice really good 
uh, scheme to the mouse. And this is the kind of like Alienware squid, like a lot of their current gen mice have kind of a kind of a squid look kind of like to like a squid head or something. So um, very cool, very cool, very comfortable. You really can't go wrong. Um, if you like Alienware, I do recommend it. We have been using Alienware computer to render videos. So um, if you're wanting to check that out, go back in the queue and you can see that video as well. To recap, this is the Alienware 610M gaming mouse. And this mouse is so very good and precise. It can be used for gaming, can be used for artwork, can be used for work. There's a lot of applications for this, but the fact that it is 1000 Hertz means this mouse is fast and it is very responsive, okay? So all sorts of different settings you can do against up to 16,000 DPI. So it can be a very, very quick mouse. And not only is it quick, the 1000 is means that it's very responsive in that quickness so very very good for gaming art work whatever you want it to do i mean again all the coloring with the alienware fx you can change any light source from any color that you want for all the different things it is a seven button mouse again you can actually pull out the doggo and make it a wireless mouse i mean just really really great um i'm going to test this mouse a little bit i may do a follow-up video down the road or have some additional comments but i'd recommend alienware mouses we've been using the corded alienware mouse for about a month now and it's really really great like i can't say enough good things about it. it's so comfortable really great for gaming um, just real responsive and uh, very very fast almost too fast and again for me at least 16,000 is a little bit too fast I'll dumb it down like a notch or two when I game you know so anyway guys if you have any questions about this boss please reach out to me tuxtoys at gmail.com I'm here to help you guys but I would recommend this again if you're not sure if you want to be wireless or wired this is the greatest Alienware choice the fact that you can do both okay and it's really a top-notch mouse compared to any other mouse out there and the price is actually surprisingly good click my link for the very best price I'll hunt out the best deals and update them regularly okay all right friends I want to thank you for watching this video if you haven't seen any of my other Alienware videos I do have other videos on Alienware uh, keyboards mice computers all of it check it out guys um, again I build computers but I have to say in 2021 with you know CPUs being so hard to get a hold of video cards being next to possible to buy um, it's a great time to buy an alienware computer okay if you're gonna buy a pre-built definitely consider alienware because they're just they're great they have so many great things to love about them um, just great pre-built computers okay all right friends thanks for watching this video we'll talk to you soon click the link down below okay bye bye